physical typology physical typology is depends on our body weight body weight who are like normal weight not not uh, too much too less okay who are normal weight then you put you are on the tipa the second one the fire bile okay normally the fire nature the people you have a good metabolism, so your body weight also more like balanced, okay? So who are underweight? Skinny people, very skinny. No, 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 you are skinny. Really? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Show us your belly. <laughs> okay, anyone is, uh, anyone, uh, yeah? Underweight, maybe. I mean, I'm Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, then you stay in. The, if you are underweight, you put you in the wind. Okay? Wind people, normally they are skinny. Wind people, skinny. Skinny people, they are wind. How about you? You, you. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's make it easy, physically. Because, okay, Julin and the Julin. Your physical typology is important because we are going to work with the pills and uh, fasting, okay? So the wind people, skinny people, they are the lucky group. <laughs> because you cannot fasting much. You know, sometimes skinny people, they fast, they lose the weight and then very difficult to, to regain, you know? And then it's, it's yes, there, once we did a Julian in Italy, you know, I didn't expect almost uh, everyone is so skinny. I, I never <laughs> saw one group, so skinny group. <laughs> so we planned to do the fasting, then later I said no fasting. Everyone eat pizza, you know, Julian with pizza. <laughs> 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 okay, so who are overweight? Overweight. Raise hand. Overweight. Overweight group. Yeah, a little bit is okay. Overweight, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you two. <laughs> yeah, okay, nine, I yeah. Think, I don't think so. I'm <laughs> okay, so, overweight group you put in the, uh, how do you say, in the flame, the water group. Okay? We are overweight is not because of other things, because we have too much water. <laughs> Don't feel bad for that, okay? So that's the water group, phlegm group. And so phlegm group uh, should be, how do you say? Phlegm group should be the fasting group. So normally we do five to seven days of Julian. If you do the fasting part, for sure also you lose weight. All right, let's say from maybe two to four kilos in, a, in one week, you lose, uh, lose weight, that's for sure. Do you understand? So that's why in this typology, it's important to know about your, what do you say, about your body weight. And if you want to lose weight, then you should do more fasting. At least we can say like a very, um, uh, how do you say, the Tibetan medicine fasting, we have different fastings, okay? One fasting is just to re uh, skip one meal. This is the easiest one. So all flame people, flame group, water group, who are water group? Who are in water group? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight people, no dinner. <laughs> Did you lose weight? I lost weight last summer. You lost weight, yeah? Yeah, last summer. Mm -hmm. But now maybe I gained again. Okay, okay, no dinner for you. <laughs> <laughs> so we are, our group is bigger, nine people. Nine people, no dinner. Mm -hmm. You never eat dinner? Ah, very good, you're very healthy. We have to eat a You know, actually it's interesting. This is also the diet, diet of His Holiness Dalai Lama, right? He's all in his Dalai Lama, you know, he's, he almost eats everything, but he skips dinner, okay? 
And the sir is monk, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Tradition. As a Buddhist monk. This this idea is coming from also from Buddha. Right? Buddha told the monks, you know, you can eat everything. It means because monks they don't cook, right? They have to ask food from the village, village people, you know. So they they are free to offer anything. That's why the monks they can eat everything. But then they, they skip dinner. Okay? So it's very interesting because if you skip dinner, let's say you eat morning nine o'clock and then lunch twelve o'clock. So it means we're eating food in six hours, right? Digesting our our digestion system is busy in six hours or seven or even eight hours, right? But then sixteen hours we are free from food. Okay? I think that's very, very important for our house. Very, very important for our house. Today, if we talk about the cancer, well, number one cancer is the, how do you say, large intestine, colon cancer, right? Number one cancer, both men and women. So lungs cancer is increasing because more people are smoking and air pollution is getting worse and so on. Okay? And then the gynecological cancers are coming. I think that's because of too many hormones. You know, the chicken with hormones, meat with hormones, food with hormones, too much hormones. And, but uh, um, the bowel cancer, I think mainly we are eating too much. Or we are eating in the wrong times, you know, we are eating at the wrong times. So that's why I think if we do the fasting part, or at least, uh, how do you say, skipping the dinner, especially the dinner, not breakfast. Yeah? You know, many people, they skip the breakfast and they eat a big dinner. And that's the wrong method. Because then in the evening we don't work and we sit, we read or watching movies and this and that and then we go to sleep, right? Food stays too much in the digestion system. So if you eat in the morning and lunch time mm -hmm. and then evening when you go to sleep, our, our digestion system is more free, right? Do you understand? But I think there is something to do with our, uh, how do you say, it's not only anti-aging, also something to do for our long-term health, you know, right? Mm -hmm. Even the cardiovascular disease, blood pressure and so on. Now there is a new research says, if we eat too much food, liver is always busy, you know. Mm -hmm. Liver is too busy. And now there is a new idea. They think liver has something to do also with high blood pressure, mm -hmm. hypertension, right? Normally the heart and kidney and these things. But now they think liver is something to do with uh, high blood pressure. I think also that's true. So that's why skipping dinner is very important. So even you are TIPA people, if you want to take the medicine the next days uh, to skip dinner, I think it's always healthy. Okay? You know, sometimes the people, they ask me, they said, oh, the, when we talk about diet, there are so many ideas about diet. And some people, they just ask me, just tell me one thing, practical thing, what is a good diet for everyone? So my answer is skip dinner. Okay? Skip dinner. Then you can save more money. <laughs> right? If you save the money for dinner, in one year you can travel to Tibet. <laughs> you have enough money to go to Tibet. Yeah? Again, yeah, when we get working with the medicines for rejuvenation, it's better to focus more on the physical kind of technology. Yes, yes, yes. And then, when we do the uh, chulin, there is another thing about medicine. Can you give them the she said? So Tibetan chulin works like this. There are three, um, three different ways to, to take chulin pills. And the first part is called the purging. Do you have enough kisa? Uh, okay, let them to take one pill now. So first one is purging. We take a Tibetan herbal medicine. This is based on the rhubarb. You know rhubarb, yeah? This is shichai six. No, shichai uh, uh, okay, okay, we give a shiche six. Let, let's see how it works. <laughs> <laughs> I like the other one. Other one is stronger. So normally when we do chulen, it's like this. You have to take purgative pills. Mm -hmm. Take the pills, they purge you. Go to toilet. Three days. Take right now? Yeah, yeah. You chew it? yeah. What? Ah, it's so hard, my God. What is it made from this one? <laughs> no, the other is rhubarb. This is, you know. Chew it up. Thank you. Chew it, chew it. 
Chewy, chewy. Don't swallow it, eh? it will stuck. It's a big thing. And drink water. This one? Um, okay, so we do, I think we do today and tomorrow. Uh, give them. Do you have enough pills? I take a lot. Yeah, yeah. Do you sell okay. these pills? Yeah, yeah, you, the pills you talk with her. It's very salty. Delicious. It's very salty because it has this, uh, how do you call it? Uh, punto. No, no, no. Punto. Uh, how do you say punto? Car carbonate salt? Oh, You know the salt coming from the the salt comes from the lake. What do you call this? Oh, it's not the real sodium. It's sodium. Sodium. It has sodium. Sodium helps for purging. Okay, rhubarb and sodium. So we use these herbs. Uh, Christiana, can you give them like six pills or five pills for each? So you take one now, and then take one uh, before uh, dinner. Okay. Or if you're not eating dinner, instead of dinner, you take this pill. Today, you t today and tomorrow, we take this pill. If this pill helps you to go to the toilet, then it's a good sign. So before we take the other pills, we have to clean ourselves, at least for three days. It's also hot. There's a hot taste. What is that? Is that chili? It's spicy. Yeah, yeah, the ingredients you ask uh, Christian, <laughs> Christian and Eric is coming tomorrow and all medicine you ask them, okay? okay. If, you want, if you want to have more information about the herbs and pills, you ask them, all right? Okay, so at least two or if you think you have too many toxins, three days you just take these pills. How many do you take? You take three pills per day, one in the morning, one lunch and one evening. Okay? Uh, you can still eat food, light food. So in any case, this is purging. Everything comes out. And if you do a very, very strict Julian retreat, sometimes for like three to five days, you only take these purging medicines. Okay? You reduce your food and then like cleaning more and more. When you purge yourself, you see some like yellow things are coming out, you know, the yellow things like bile, bile fluid is coming, it stimulates our bile too. So that's the sign of like toxins are coming out, like liver is cleaned, small intestine is cleaned, gallbladder is cleaned, okay? So once this purging part is done, and then we take other special herbs, then we take the rejuvenating ones, okay? Detox, yeah. So this is this one is a kind of detox. Did you eat it? So I eat one now. Did you take one in the evening? Yes, yes, dinner? yes. And then one, one tomorrow, you morning? tomorrow morning, one lunch, and one evening again. Okay. So you need to get uh, how many pills now? Four. Yeah, yeah, four pills. Take the pills. No, I have four. But in in case if you get too much diarrhea, you let me know. Okay. Don't worry. You must yeah. <laughs> now you learn Tibetan oh, no. medicine. There you go. Oh my gosh. Oh, we have a man for this is box every month so every hot open. What is the hot taste? You can do like this detox. Yeah, you can do every month or every season. Okay. So at least once a year. If you do a good one, you do every month. Okay? Otherwise, you do uh, every season. Yeah. Okay. So we do Julian for like spring. We do then the summer and then autumn and winter. I think normally this seasonal is good, yeah. Seasonal is good. But sometimes you take this, some Julian pills, you can take for six, three months or six months. It says if you take the Julian, this, this is not for rejuvenating, this is for purging, for cleaning, okay? So once you clean the after detox and then we have rejuvenation. But the rejuvenation it says if you take do rejuvenation for one year it the effect can last for ten years. 
So you do it three, four times a year, this project. Yeah, yeah. You can do, he's, she's asking me about detox. If you only want to do detox, you can do seasonal detox, that's the best. Spring detox, summer detox, autumn detox, winter detox. That's the best way. Okay? But normally with Julian, first we detox and then we have to take the rejuvenating pills.